All right, today we're gonna to be installing the SeaDoo 12 volt power outlet and insulation kit. Uh, this is the available from SeaDoo. Uh, it's a part number 21970026737. Comes with uh, insulation instructions and all the parts that you need. Um, one thing you need to know is you need to also supply a 10 millimeter or 13 30 seconds inch drill bit and a 29 millimeter or one and one eighth inch hole saw which in the kit comes with this wiring harness and this uh, will go to the battery connect to the battery this will be this is a fuse that is sealed in here and this is the connector they also give you this end which is going to be in the inside of the glove compartment this is the 12 volt outlet this will screw and hold it on to the back you're going to have to put on a connector and the connector will plug into this side next to the battery and they also give you some replacement plugs that you'll need plastic plugs as well as some um, twist ties. We're going to be installing this on the GTR 215. And it's, uh, it's a 2012 model. Okay, first thing they want you to do is to remove the seat. Then you want to remove the battery access panel. First thing you want to do is unclip this here. You have some licensed stuff here. Then you want to remove the two pins. This one here this one here. These are plastic pins. I just want to get in a little groove there, twist it a bit, and it'll just pop right out. Same with the other one. Take that one out too. Take out the panels. Move the left one first by pulling up on it. Pull out. And the right one. Just pull right out thing you want to do is remove these hex screws and that holds this panel on on the outside. You're going to need an 8 millimeter socket to do that. And there are two of them. There's this one and this one. So just with an 8 millimeter, you just do not drop these. And when you tighten them back on, definitely don't tighten them too much. Or you'll strip it, the plastic, because remember they're going into plastic. Okay, next we want to remove these two plastic darts. Um, this one you can access from the other side here. So I'm just going to push it a bit here. So you can take them out with your finger. Try to get this off. Ugh. Then what you're going to want to do once you have that off is slide it forward. And because they're unscrewed on this end, then the darts are off here. It should just be able to pop forward. I marked out where I want it to go. They suggest right around here on the side of the glove box. All right, here we go. And drill away. There we go. Let me just fish this through here. flips up, so push it till it's nice and snug, and then a quarter turn, and that's it. So the key to this one is to get it as high as possible without wrecking this thing here. Now they want you to make this a relatively short connection. 
from the out over here so it's not dangling around in front of the intake. That, okay, the next thing you're going to do is unhook the battery. I'm going to take this off first by so I can get access to the negative terminal. I'm going to unplug it by pushing down here first and then we're going to take off the positive. So always remove the negative first and then the positive and then when you put it back on it's positive first, negative last. Now they want you to apply a little dielectric grease to the battery posts. I'm apply it on the post. Okay, so now we're going to install this. Red is going to go to the positive, obviously, black to the negative. Positive first. Remember to reconnect this thing, slide on in place. Now when putting the connector together, you have to assemble the connector. You have to take note of the one that it's going to connect to. This is going to the battery. That's the positive and that's the negative. So when it goes together like that, we're going to want the positive on this side and the negative on that side. Okay. So, slight push till you hear a little click. Now when you push these through, these pins, you want to push them so that they actually protrude. So when it's done properly, you'll see that green tab is all the way in flush with the bottom and it's keeping pressure on those little pins there keeping them nice and uh, centered. So now we'll make the connection. Here the click. That's it. Okay, so the final thing. You're going to want to twist tie these things all together. It's always best practices to clip the ties. You can't use them again anyway. Now for the moment of truth, I'm plug it in, see if it works before I start throwing everything together. I got an adapter. Oh yeah, charging. So pull the plug back, push it through. Then push the pin in, you'll hear a shape to it. And then you'll hear the pop. And then hook it back up. There you go. So I'm taking note of the how much they protrude. Because I don't want it too far out. I don't want it too far in. Careful not to scratch the paint. Okay, here we go. Do not push it too far. Okay, before I put it all together, I'm going to apply some silicone seal here. Push it in. step. Put these plugs back in. The new plugs. That's the snug. Hold brace this one. There we go. And there you go. The 12 volt connector outlet. The 12 volt outlet 